Imagine a ball falling towards the surface of the earth. What does it experience? Any guesses? All right. Let me tell you about it. The ball falling towards the surface of earth experiences gravitation. Now what's that? Let me give you a gist about it. Gravitation is just a name given to the force of attraction between any two bodies of the universe. Newton's law of gravitation states that the gravitational force of attraction acting between the two bodies of the universe is directly proportional to the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. Like every body of the universe, Earth also has a gravitation, which is gravity. Like I said about the ball falling towards the surface of Earth, it falls due to the gravitation force of Earth acting on it which is nothing other than but basically gravity of earth. Gravity is force of attraction exerted by earth towards its center on a body which is Imagine a ball falling towards the surface of the earth. What does it experience? Any guesses? All right. Let me tell you about it. The ball falling towards the surface of earth experiences gravitation. Now what's that? Let me give you a gist about it. Gravitation is just a name given to the force of attraction between any two bodies of the universe. Newton's law of gravitation states that the gravitational force of attraction acting between the two bodies of the universe is directly proportional to the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. Like every body of the universe, Earth also has a gravitation, which is gravity. Like I said about the ball falling towards the surface of earth, it falls due to the gravitation force of earth acting on it, which is nothing other than but basically gravity of earth. Gravity is force of attraction exerted by earth towards its center on a body which is 